Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we, uh, we give the Muslims a break to prepare themselves and take some vitamin uh, A, B, C, D, Quran, vitamin, anything. Maybe they can get stronger and they can tell us something useful about their religion. Uh, a few days ago, I saw a broadcast uh, speaking about how Muslims prove that Allah is exist or God is exist. So the internet is exist. If there is no computer, there is no internet. If there is no internet, there is no website. There is no website. There is, I mean, the Muslim they prove it all, you know. And uh, that's it. There is the the being which can is a must to exist to be for all those things to exist. But uh, the question for the Muslims is, do you even have a proof that that being is exist? Which mean, if that being is exist, maybe there's other being. He made that being, Mr. Bean. So the Muslim, when they try to use philosophy, and philosophy is against the religion, in fact, Islam believe or and teach that if somebody preach or teach philosophy, he is not a Muslim. So the Muhammadan, they play the game of trying, so, so suddenly they are philosophers, you know, people are philosophy and they have philosophy. There's a guy, his name, uh, I forgot his name, is a convert. He's an American, he's a, you know, he's just a dummy. Uh, I forgot his name. This guy, the one who said the, 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 the weak hadith is a weak argument, you know, the argument of a weak hadith is a weak argument. And this guy, he start quoting, you know, for us some, what they call them, I'm quoting them, Al Ghazali as a philosopher. Al Ghazali is just an idiot. Even Muslims not appreciate him, and even Muslims they consider him a Buddha or let us say a, a person who fabricate things. Obviously, the Muhammadan cannot prove their religion. They bend in on their religion. As an example, you see that the the title here, the amazing Quran. So I just type in the internet to see if I can find some articles about the amazing yeah Sheikh Hamza about the amazing Quran and I did you know find some articles like here I, I search Quran and science but when you search for uh, uh, amazing Quran just the word as it is let me type that let me give me a second <clears throat> yeah if you type the word amazing Quran you will find the following This is uh, why Islam website is a, is a website made to fool people and convert them into the garbage of Islam. And the reason I say garbage, you might say this is too much harsh. You will see, you know, if you are new, just don't judge by the words we say. Because if we're describing garbage, it's garbage. If it's not garbage, that means we are making an insult. Amazing Quran by Gary Miller, Introduction to the Quran, The Last Revealed Word of God, etc. If you you know if you click they have a they have a, a page where you can even read the book. The second you go on you will see the book, you will die laughing. Dr. Miller, as an example, he says the Quran mentioned the smallest thing. Okay, what is the smallest thing? And he quote for you chapter uh, as -Sab as -Sab uh, 34, verse number three. He, i.e., Allah, is aware of an autumn weight in the heaven and on the earth. You see, here, the, here how the Muslims, they lie to each other. There is no word in the Quran says the word autumn, and the word autumn is not exist. The word in the Quran used is dharra, and dharra is a word used for ants. It can be used for fine sand. So here, suddenly the Quran is speaking about autumn, amnuk, and proton and newton. Here you see the fabrication, and this is why we say the Muhammadan, they are bankrupt, and they try to create something is not even exist. If you go, if you don't believe me, you can go right now to the same chapter, same verse, and check the interpretation for it in the dictionary, in the Islamic website, you will see this is speaking about ants. So Allah is saying that he is aware of something, even if it's way the same as a little tiny red uh, 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 ant. Actually, let me prove it to you, so because you might say I'm making things up, you know. Uh, chapter uh, 34, verse number 3. All right. Here we go. And here you see 
that Islam is invalid cult. Why people will lie about what their Quran <clears throat> uh, saying? You know, what what this have to do with autumn and in nuclear and etc. So here this is the this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Let's see a more clear uh, uh, Tafsir. Nothing can be hiding from Allah, but here they don't mention really what that word mean exactly. So we go to Ajalain. Okay, here it says. And those who disbelieve say that our uh, uh, the resurrection will never come to us. Say to them, yes, indeed, by my Lord, it shall come to you uh, by the knower of the unseen. Hmm? And then he continues saying and speaking about the subject, which is what? Which is the, the weight of what? A weight of something smaller than an ant. something very small what is that small thing uh, I'm looking here to see if it mentioned what is the word mean let us see uh, I remember I use uh, here we go look 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 how the Muslim they lie in the translation they use the word autumn again autumn again in the first translation but this is not what it says in Arabic how we prove that let us see one more interpretation for the funny Quran this is Ibn Kathir and you can the easiest way actually you can open the dictionary and you can read it right away all right so this is Ibn Kathir and let us see what Ibn Kathir is talking about There is nuclear, and there is weapon, and there is autumns. Yeah, all those things is exist in the Quran. All right, maybe here. Nothing can be hidden from him. Blah 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 blah. He have a knowledge of everything. Uh, Yeah, I don't see. Remember, uh, Ibn Kathir in English is not the same as Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I don't see anything about the word and here. Let me go back. Maybe we can find it. Maybe we have to use then, we have to switch to the Arabic. Uh, the Arabic version. Okay, give me a second. Remember, we are here to get them busted with their lies. And when they say something, if we make our own statement without giving proofs, that means we are fabricating things too. Uh, let's see here. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see? Uh, uh, this is Ibn Kathir, before we go. The NC, not even the weight of a spa speak, of a dust or less than or that greater so here in Kathir is speaking about it as a dust this is a true in Arabic we use the word dharra for sand so we say the rat the translation is not correct uh, uh, not not dust uh, uh, sand so uh, uh, in Arabic we say the rat or ruml the rat or ruml so nothing can be hide from him even if it's that the case but still this is not an answer for the correct meaning <coughs> uh, let us go and look at the tafsir in Arabic and we will use Google translation you know And you will see why we don't respect what they say. All right. <clears throat> I 
And if there is any Muslim who don't agree with us, please feel free. My, uh, my Skype is open. And let everybody see the truth. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is about a red ant, Namla Hamra. In fact, they were discussing specifically about the ant. So if you read with me here, this is what, what they say here. This is a tabari. I can use Google Translation right away. <clears throat> Google. All right, we go down. So what the Quran is talking about, talking about specific animal. It is a red ant and even there is a hadith about it. So they were, you know, uh, uh, here you see the Muslim, uh, this is the translation by Google, which is a false translation. It's saying, Ibn Abbas saying, Ibn Sinan said in the hadith, the dharra, not autumn, this is, remember, this is Google automatically translation, you know, it, uh, the weight of a red ant, red ant, the translation here, making the word autumn, which is for ant, it's red ant, okay? And here, actually, it's coming even better. Ibn Wahab said this hadith, a red ant, uh, 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 Ishaq said, Yazid of Ibn Harun, blah, 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 blah. They claim that this red ant has no weight. So how Allah will know what does that mean? You know, so it's about an ant. And then the Muslim, they make it about science and about autumns. And suddenly the word autumn is appearing. In the language today, after after the discovery of uh, uh, of uh, autumns and those things uh, in Arabic language they search for what is something small we can use it as an Arabic word let us say to translate the word autumn into Arabic which is a false translation because this is simply about small red ants specifically so in Arabic today we use the word dharra when we speak about uh, uh, nuclear uh, like if I want to go to school this is the word they use you see, in the Islamic countries, they try to fight all kinds of languages which is not Arabic because Islam is an Arab religion. So any other language is a threat to Islam. Take the Arabic out, there is no Islam. This is the whole idea. This is why you see when Muslim they go to the country, they try to uh, 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 practice uh, Arabism. So you go to Afghanistan, Everything become Arabic. Everybody, his name is Arabic. Everybody is, is, is dressing like Arab. You go to Pakistan, you go to Bangladesh, you go everything, you know. <clears throat> Even they change their language letters, you know, they switch and using Arabic language uh, uh, letters. But let us go and see, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe At-Tabari is an idiot. Maybe At-Tabari, he do not know what he is saying. Uh, let us see. This is the master of Ibn Kathir, al baghawi It says here, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلُ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّ وَزْنُ نَمْلَ صَغِيرَ أَصْغَرُ مَا يَكُونُ مِنَ النَّمْلِ This is the whole, look, look, you know, here, look how simple the, the interpretation is. I will use Google Translation. Again, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It says here, so whoever does and an and, uh, ant, not autumn, this is Google translation, remember that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Google is using what the people use today in the language, so it says autumn. But you will see here it says, it's a weight of a small ant. So what is a small ant suddenly became about nuclear, about science, about how Allah knew this. And we can show you all Islamic interpretation. You will find that all of them, they are saying the same. But this is not what they say in their website and their videos and their articles and their studies when the fact is this is what the Quran is saying. And let me pause for you 
the you know the uh, the official government website of Saudi Arabia so you can check it out maybe this is my website check it out you know they lie my friend everything is a fabrication so this guy they told him I'm not saying by the way he is he's a he's a liar I'm saying he's a victim of the lying that they are lying to him so he said oh this is on the Quran really the Quran speak about autumns are you serious <laughs> you know you know yeah so are you serious you know this is amazing brother this is here let me let me give you this this is al maani very well known dictionary i will post it for you the link you can use google translation remember to open it with the browser mithqalu dharra and actually, this is appear in many places, by the way, about about uh, the weight, not only in one place. It says here, مِثْقَرُ زِنَةُ نَمْلَ صَغِيرَةُ وَالذَّرَّ جَمْعُهَا ذَرَّ وَهُوَ أَصْغَرُ النَّمْلِ Okay, so مِثْقَرُ ذرة it's a, it's a weight of a little ant, and a ذرة uh, is, is like individual, singular, and a ذرة uh, uh, the uh, by itself is singular uh, that word to make it like uh, uh, for many we say dhar. actually we have a man Muslim man his name is Abu Dhar which means the father of the ants let us use Google translation and you will see right away how we got them busted in two seconds and it's a dictionary and they are even saying to you where to find it in the Quran they are they are saying to you where to find the verse in the Quran this is Al Zalzala, chapter number, uh, uh, verse number seven. Small ant, do you see it? The weight of a small ant. An Nisa, here, mention again, small ant. So it is a small ant, and they make it a different story. Do we need to get them more busted? So everything they have in their claim that the Quran is amazing, you know, it's, it's just a silly, stupid, a, a disparate. Uh, 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 let's say a bankruptcy it's nothing but a bankruptcy now who is a Muslim he can prove me wrong is the Quran really amazing or the Quran is the most stupid book I say it is the most stupid book what say you if you are a Mohammedan you have the courage and the knowledge to prove me wrong please feel free if you go to the from website here it says this is a Muslim website it says like they are counting for you amazing things in the Quran in this chapter of al anbiya which means chapter of the Prophet it says it was revealed we made every living thing from water will they not believe but this is absolutely contradiction for the Quran itself and for Muhammad teaching because simply the angels are not made from water and Shaitan or genies are made from fire. Fire which have no smoke. Special kind of fire. So neither the angels are made from water, neither the genie are made from water, but the Quran says we made every living thing. Now, if we extend reading and learning about Muhammad, we will find that according to Muhammad, stones are living things. If you remember, Muhammad, when he walked in the street because he's mentally ill, and we proved that many times, stones used to say to him, Assalamu alaikum. The mountains say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Let me see if I can find the hate in English. <laughs> what does that mean what do you mean a mountain he love you and you love him each time Muhammad he passed by this mountain there were rocks of this mountain say to him assalamu alaikum let us show you more ref more 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 reference <clears throat> Uh, 
And this is additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. So if everything is living, is made from water, is rocks made from water, that is something special. It must be a special rock, like a rock and roll. Uh, as an example, Muhammad, he knew special rock before even he become a prophet. Anytime he, he passed by the rock, the rock, she said to him, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet of Allah. And as you see, this is very authentic hadith. Any Muhammad have a doubt that Muhammad is mentally ill? And that rock, that rock specifically, a specific rock, not every rock, that rock, when Muhammad, he passed by, this rock say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet of Allah. And you know, if you read the Quran, you will find that the Quran, the, the, the Arab keep asking Muhammad for a miracle. Why you don't go in the front of those people, you know, and show them how the stones say, Assalamu alaikum, that would be a miracle, that's it. Checkmate. You know what I mean? I mean, if this is true, all what Muhammad need to do, bring this rock or bring the people next to the rock if it's big. And let the rock say to you, Assalamu Alaikum. And then everybody will say, Wow, amazing. The Prophet, he even rock speak to him. Is the rock a living thing? Well, based on this, yes, it is. Mountain or living thing. Actually, according to the Quran, the, the moon is a living thing. It's a living creature. And even they refuse to convert to Islam. Or to accept the trust of Allah. <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, we will find more stupid stories. Oh, here we go. Let us show you a different one, actually. There is even better than this one. All right, so Allah, he offered the sun and the moon, you know, the trust of Allah. What the sun and the moon, they say, no, we don't accept. He offered it to the, even the sky and the earth and the mountains. And they refuse. How they refuse, that means they are living being and they accept or disaccept. Is everything living is made from water muslims you know the same argument the muslim they speak about they say every living thing is made of water does mean allah is made of water too i mean the muslim they forgot that allah himself is a living being if you say allah he is not talking about making himself what well, he said you know uh, every living thing is made from water but in the same time we need to ask ourselves was the water exist before the spirit or the spirit was exist before the water? If we ask a Muhammadan right now, did Allah create the angels before he create water? The Muslim will be so confused, he do not know what to say. Based on some hadith, in fact, the water is exist before anything else. But based on other stories, 
the angels are created before all the creation of Allah. I'm talking about living things now, creatures. You see, when Allah He decided to create Adam, He said to the angels, I'm going to create someone to inherit the earth, which is a very funny statement. Khalifa. Caliphate is mentioned in the Quran that Adam would be the caliphate. But based on that, that means Adam, he is not the first man because he is the caliphate. Caliphate is somebody inheriting his ancestors. Do you see it? If you read it here in Arabic, it says, وَإِذَا قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي جَائِرٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ I'm going to make in the land a caliphate. But how he can be a caliphate if he is the first man? That is a stupid mistake. However, many Islamic scholars, they agree that the mistake happened here in, in the writing. The word here is not khalifa. The word here is khaliqa, which means this word that is highlighted. Is a mistake they don't say it's a corruption they say it's a mistake so the original word was khaliqa. simply how you do make it khaliqa, you just add little tiny dot next to the dot and let me open my uh, screen pen so if you if you write uh, if you put a little dot I will make it a red here Next to the other dot, which means two dots in the same time. Let us make it uh, smaller. So we have one dot here, and I'm going to make another dot next to it. That will make it khaliqa, which means a creation. That makes sense. And even Muslim scholars agree that there is obviously a mistake here. But who dare to question? You know, if you say that, if you live in the Middle East and you say that, they will take your head, you know, and put it in the freezer. So the Quran saying, Allah, he said, I'm going to make someone to inherit the earth. And this is a stupid statement because that means there is a human who exists before Adam. And this is a total contradiction of the Quran. Because if Adam is the first man, how he can inherit his ancestors? Statement of his stupidity. Muslim cannot because they don't dare, nobody dare to say, oh, this is, must be changed. It is Khaliqa, not Khalifa. So now we have a caliphate instead of Khaliqa, which means a creature. Uh, but you will notice here, Allah is speaking to the angels before he created Adam that he was going to create a human being. So the angels are exist before Adam is exist. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and tell me what is the angels are made of? Is the angels made from water? We can get them busted in two seconds. Muhammad, he says, angels are created from light. <laughs> Not my words. So how we made is is the water is part of the light substance, if we can use the word? Is the genie are made from water? A smart Muslim, he says, well, a genie are made from fire and uh, fire have water in it. That is a false argument. Because that means your God is a stupid. He should not say still he made it from fire. He should make I made it from water anyway. If this is what it meant, so why he say I made him from fire? <laughs> so here the message of Allah said, angels were created from light and jinn were created from a smokeless flame of fire. And Adam was created from that which 
have been, i.e., sand and clay. So if all of them they are made from water, then we say, okay, angels, genie, human, all are made from the same thing. So as you see, the Quran can't stand its own statement. Quran is a stupid book. Until now, we have zero Muslim texting me, so he can prove me wrong. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Why you Muslims fabricate things? It's even against what your prophet said in order to gain an argument which is false and is going to be easy to be exposed. And then people will laugh at you. Anyone? Any Mohammedan? All what you present in your articles, in your books, in your it's a fabrication. It's not even what the Quran even saying and close to. Meow uh, meow, Christian prince. I want to get baptized, but the church they charge for it. I never heard of a church. They charge for baptism. That is not a church. I never heard of one. They charge for baptism. If this is true, don't go there. This is another good sign. Those are doing business. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? So if we go to your website and we check everything you claim, we find that each one of them is nothing but a fabrication. In fact, the Quran is a book of fabrication and stupidity. Second statement, look, the same here, the same article here. Universe and the Big Bang Theory. The Quran speak about the Big Bang. When they asked Zachary Naik about the Big Bang, they said to him, well, the scientists, they say that the Earth uh, created uh, uh, and like the universe created in billions of years but the Quran says the earth is created in six days the earth and the heaven in six days so how is that Nike answer he said brother sister first of all the Quran said human yes this is true but the word human in the Quran mean period here we go Zachary Nike he became a female and he have his period so the Quran says six days all over the Quran, the Muslim now they want to manipulate the word days and make it billions of years. The Bible says days, but we don't see a Christian saying it doesn't say days, it says period. No, it doesn't say period, it says days. But when you are a person who have no shame, you're willing to change what your book is about. And all those verses, as you see, chapter 7, verse 54, chapter 10, verse number 3, chapter 11, verse number 7, chapter 15, 25, verse 59, chapter 32, verse 4. I mean, even there are six days. And then in the seventh day, Allah, he sat on the chair. So suddenly, suddenly, six days become second, six period. Actually, look. Even the translation here, look at the fabrication. I don't know a translator. We will check it out. It says six period. But in Arabic, it says sitatu ayam, days. You cannot learn about Islam from a Muslim because a Muslim, he is a liar. I never saw a Muslim, he is not a liar. You might say this is a harsh statement here. Prove me wrong. Look, it says days. I will change only the translator. I'm not going to change the book. This is Shakir. I just a check. This is Shakir. Translator is Shakir. I will change just the translator and I will use a Muslim translator. Hilali and Khan. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Double Muhammad. The disaster is bigger. Allah, it is He who created the heaven and earth and whatever between them in six days. 
So how the word six days become a period? Just to show you how even bigger their lie is. Muhammad, even he gave us the names of the days. Let us go to Muhammad. That's why Muslims, they don't want Muhammad to be in the picture. You know, when Zakir Naik, he stand on the stage, they got him people who do not know much about Islam. And it's a, it's a show time. But can Zakir Naik stand talking to me for five minutes? It will be ripped apart. So the messenger of Allah, who is talking? The messenger of Allah. This is not a Christian prince and this is Sahih. This is authentic. This is not Zuzu Nakura. Chapter of the beginning of a creation, the book of Sahih Muslim. All right. This is Muhammad talking, not me. Let us show the whole thing so you can read it all. Muhammad said, not Zakir Naik said, swearing by Allah, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Sunday, Saturday, sorry. But according to Zakir Naik, six days is six, is a six period, and each one of them is a, 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 a millions and millions of years. But yet Muhammad, he called it Saturday. Okay, you know, maybe at that time Saturday was a billion year. We never know. We will find out at the end of the hadith how we can get them busted more. And then he created the mountains in Sunday. Okay, mountains in Sunday, what we can say, that's it. And he created the trees on Monday. And he created the things in time and labor in, th in Tuesday. And he created the light in Wednesday. If you remember, there's a guy whose name Ahmad Didat. He was making fun of a Christian priest, saying to him, your God created the sun in the fourth day. So the whole world was without light, which is not true. Because the first thing God said, before he created anything, he said, let be light, and light was. Creating the sun, the sun is not the only light. God, he said, let be light, and light was. But according to Muhammad, which did that was making fun of that statement, light, which is the sun, the first time was exist after even the tree. After everything, everything, there is no light until Wednesday. Let us continue. So Ahmad did that in his grave now, is farting and we are, we are laughing at him. And he caused the animals to spread in Tuesday. And here is the funniest statement. He caused the animals to spread in Tuesday. Shouldn't you create the animals first? Muhammad, as usual, he skipped. Okay, shouldn't you create the animals first? He spread the animals in, in Thursday. What day he created the animals? Ah, Muhammad. And then he created Adam, bees be upon him, after noon, Friday. Well, is a Quran a So what happened to the period? But the Twitter, the Quran never said the word thick did. In fact, the Quran means thick period. And if you go and you can create a number, you will find a new number in the agreement. So we can divide the billion of the earth and with six period, and they will find that eight period and come into that conclusion. Like, what the heck? When the Quran and the Hadith and their Prophet is getting them busted left and right, and we spank them and we leave our five fingers as a, as a mark of a Christian prince on their ass. And this is why they didn't dare to call me. Because they knew if they call me, I will leave my five fingers stamp over their bum. It says a Friday afternoon, and not only that, Muhammad cannot shut up his mouth. Not only he says that, it says here, i.e. between afternoon and night. <laughs> Do you see it? I'm not the one who's saying that. So what happened in the billions of years? Do you see how they lie to make a miracle, a scientific miracle? Big Bang in the Quran. You know, if you believe in the Big Bang, that's mean you're not, you're not a believer. Because if the Big, you know, do you know even the Muslim what the Big Bang is? The Big Bang is the reason of a creation, not Allah. So if you believe in the Big Bang, that means you believe that the Big Bang is Allah. This is how stupid those people are. If you say that the 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 universe is exists because of the Big Bang, 
That means everything Muhammad is he said is a lie. And here they are saying to you that this is mentioned in the Quran in chapter 21, verse number 31. If we go to the verse, actually, I do not need to go to the verse. Read with me and laugh. It says here in Surah Al Anbiya, which means the Prophet, also state. Uh, have those who disbelieve not consider that the heaven and the earth were joined entity and we separated them actually it's a false translation in Arabic it says Alam yara, Alam yara, which means didn't, didn't they see didn't they see something we see every day not something discovery let us go to the Quran so we can love chapter 21 verse number 30 Big Bang, huh? We will give you the Big Bang right now. Look, we did not change the book. We did not change the... We just have different translator. Look what happened. Have not those who disbelieve known that the heaven and the earth were joined together? This is something they knew in the time of Muhammad. Everybody knows. So if this is about the Big Bang, that's mean the Arab, they knew about the Big Bang. And who is the one who knows? The disbelievers. I mean, do you see the stupidity? In the website, it says this is unknown. In the Quran, it says they knew. <laughs> do you see why we laugh? In their website, it says this is this fact. It's a fact, by the way, which is which is funny. The Big Bang is a theory. It's not a fact, you idiot. What fact? The only fact that you know that you are an idiot. I can prove it. I I can prove that fact. So uh, actually, here it says a Big Bang theory. So how you how you base your religion in a theory? So what if the theory changed? You would change the Quran, right? Then you will say, oh, we don't believe in the Big Bang. Do you see the stupidity? But the Quran doesn't say what they are saying. And look what it says. It says that they used to be joint entity and we separated them. <laughs> is, is, the, is the earth separated from the heaven, my friend? And this is what the Big Bang says, that earth was exist with the sky and then they are separated. So there was earth and there was a sky. I mean, do you see the stupidity? But if you are a blind, if you are a donkey, I cannot make you a horse. It says in the front of us, the earth, the heaven and the earth, which means there was a heaven and there was an earth. But this is not what the Big Bang says. The Big Bang says that the earth created billions of years after the Big Bang. Do you see even how they fabricate, they bend down, they add colors to the science, they add the, they add their own fictions. It's, it, it says it clearly that they used to be exist together. And now we have zero Muslim trying to contact us. Do you know why? Because they knew we are saying the truth. How Allah, he separated the earth from the heaven. Let us go to the Quran as long as we are talking about science. Allah, he made the heaven protected roof. What does that mean? I don't know. I mean, come on. This is confusing. What, what are you talking about? There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called chapter Qaf. Chapter number 50. Verse number one. Learn science. And from his narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said, Ibn Abbas is the only one authorized by Muhammad himself, he is the cousin of Muhammad, to be the ink of the Islamic nation, which means he is the highest ever. Even he prayed to Allah, Muhammad himself, he made a special prayer to Allah 
to make him the most smart, educated, explanation person for the Quran. So this guy is the top of the top. Ibn Kathir is nobody. Ajralain is nobody. This is the cousin of Muhammad himself. And Muhammad, he prayed only for him to make him the ink of knowledge. Don't tell me that Allah, he did not make the prayer of Muhammad come true. I will be upset from you. So look what he said. From the authority of him, this is why they are saying authority. You see the word authority? Not tafsir. No, no, no. Authority of Ibn Abbas that he said. In the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world. And the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it. You will never hear Zakir Naik saying those things to you in any conference. <laughs> so why the sky is blue? Now we knew. And now we know why the song says, Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, mommy. Quran, science. The sky is blue because there's an azure mountain. And why we don't see the mountain? Because it's an azure mountain, you idiot. It's a blue mountain. This is why we don't see it. But this mountain is in the earth. The earth is a flat. And we have a wall around the earth. And this is the mountain. A cough. If, if, look how big this mountain is to the point. Allah himself, he swear by a mountain. Where is your science? And where is... Uh, any Muhammadan? from the Blue Mountain. This is why I agree with the Muslim when they say the Quran will blow your mind. For sure, not only you will blow your mind, you will blow your testicles, you will blow your, I mean, this is the book says uh, the women have testicles and they are in their ribs. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Be my witness. My Skype is open. Zero Muhammadan. They don't there. The only reason Muslim they will call is to talk about the Trinity. Christian Prince, I have a question about the Trinity. Like, what the heck? We are talking about, okay, what, what, what do you want from the Trinity? It doesn't make sense. And look who is talking about what makes sense and what does not make sense. A person who believed that God will make his penis endless is talking about logic and what makes sense and what does not make sense. A person who believed that a person, his name is Solomon, he dies standing just because he was holding a stick. Nobody noticed that he is dead for a year. Do you remember the woman she called me? And she filed a claim, by the way, to YouTube to take the video down. This potato woman, she think, the second you call me, the video is all over. You cannot take it down. Copyright? What copyright? You call me live, you stupid. So I told her a story about my grandfather. How he died, and he was dead for a year holding a stick and nobody noticed and she said to me your story doesn't make sense sorry i cannot accept your story the second i say this is in the quran the same second in the speed of light it makes sense when it was about my grandfather it was a stupid story It doesn't make sense. It is dummy. She hurt my feeling. I told her, you are hurting my feeling. Go watch the video. You hurt my feeling. Why you say that? She said, sorry, I cannot. I don't accept it, you know. The second I show it to her from the Quran, she switch from 110 volt to 500 volt. 
she started kicking. And then she went to YouTube to report copyright. Her voices are copyrighted. I don't know what you would do if you farted on air. We have a Muslim, he called himself Muslim Prince, and which is weird, by the way. All the Muslim these days are royal. But their prophet, he used to jump in a water, have dead dogs and women, blood from period, and garbage. Like you will hear the Qatari Prince, and now they are taking shower with perfume, milk, chocolate. But how their prophet used to take a shower? And you know, in Qatar, they are trying to promote Islam, and they tell you Islam is an amazing religion, and they are the best one to keep you clean, brother. All of them, they become royals, but all of them, they used to take a shower once a year. Like my grandfather. As you know, I'm an Arab, brother. At least in papers. It says here that the prophet who is so... Um, uh, guys, look, look the name of the book. The Book of Purification. I mean, do you see the title of the book? I'm telling you, Islam will blow your mind, not only Taliban. The Book of Purification. What the heck? So, in the Book of Purification, this is how you purify yourself. The Book of Purification, brother. What the heck? This is how they prepare themselves to, to, to meet Allah in the prayer. And Muhammad himself, he used to do that. Read with me. And this is Sahih Hadith. It says here. And look, the, the book name here changed in this. Uh, the Book of Water. I mean, in Islam, uh, Muslims, shouldn't you change the name of the book, make it the Book of Sewage? I mean, where is the water there? Where is the water? I mean, when we say the word water, we are talking about just water. But if there is a lot of things like garbage, dead dogs, women of blood, period, rags, how in the world we call it water? But anyway, let it go. It was narrated from Abu Sa'id al Khudari. He said, It was said, O Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu, which means ablution. See, it's ablution. When you think about evolution, you think you're getting cleaner. From the well which the bodies of dogs, bodies, but bodies, bodies, which means they are really, you know, decayed. You can imagine the smell and, you know, ministral rags. What else? Ministral rags. Not long time ago, women, they don't have those things like, you know, you... You know, there is rags. They have to wash it, uh, or if it gets so dirty, there's no water, they throw it away. Rags and garbage. I mean, what is left? What is left to make it filthy? Nothing. Dead bodies. Dead bodies. Women of blood from period. And garbage. You tell me what is left. Hmm? And then they speak about science. There's a guy, his name, Dr. Sabil Ahmad. He says, brothers and sisters, if you see how the prophet teaches us how to be hygienes. Hygienes? What hygienes? What? What? High what? My friend, your prophet must be high. High with the drugs, high with hashish, but not high... So what is your science? I'm trying to find the science. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan? And the second we showed them how we stupid the Quran, a Muslim, he make a comment, says, Christian Prince, don't spread the hate. <laughs> They play victims. He lay down in the ground. 
His tail is up, his legs is up. Hey, don't spread the heat, okay? Ah, here we go. They just attacked a police station in Pakistan. They killed 53 people in Syria just two hours ago. People who they are collecting potatoes. Imagine. Imagine. Poor people, they are trying to make a living. What the Muslims, peace be upon them, they do? They walk by them and they start shooting them. 53 people. And they are talking about being victims and... Yeah. Do we have any Muhammadan? It is Daif hadith? No, it's not Daif. What Daif? Not only that, actually, here it's, it says in this one specifically, it says Hassan. I can show you more, my friend. They will hurt you. <laughs> Sahih. Do you see it? <laughs> Anything will make Muhammad look a stupid, dummy, idiot. The Muslim, they say Da'if. My friend, when the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran, uh, there is a hadith is Da'if, what does that mean? They're trying to say to you it's a lie. It's a fabricate, but that means we cannot trust Islam because Islam is based on the Hadith and the Quran. In fact, there's no Islam in the Quran. The real Islam is in the Hadith. So if you say to me, we cannot trust the Hadith, so don't, how you claim that your Islam is a preserved? And as you say, it is Sahih. Do we have any Muhammadan? Would like to call me after he take a shower with be or bida. Any Muhammadan? And don't uh, you know? Don't. Uh, Tell me you, you don't like the way I talk. Don't come here. Don't play. Uh, I mean, the funny is those people, the same people, they keep coming here. You spank them, they come back. And then they say it hurt. And they come back. And it hurt. And they come back. Well, obviously you're enjoying it. It doesn't hurt at all. Otherwise, why you keep coming back? Uh, yeah, dear, my friend, one more time you say CP uh, is online the Messiah, I will block you. Just uh, this is a warning. Last time you posted, don't insult the Messiah, I'm not equal to his shoes. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? Do we have any, uh, uh, am I insulting you when I say brave Muhammadan? What's wrong? If I say if there's any coward, they will say he's insulting. If there is any smart Muhammadan, anyone? I am equal to Muhammad shoes. My friend, your prophet don't have a shoes. Isn't it the Hadith says that your prophet, he stole a sandal of a Jew. So before you talk about me equal to Muhammad shoes, you have to prove to me that Muhammad, he have shoes. I mean, what kind of a prophet, even his shoes is a theft. Go and read the book of Al-Bidayah and Al-Nihayah. You're a prophet. He killed a Jew. He took his donkey. He took his sandals. And he took, took four ounces of gold and silver. I mean, how noble Muhammad is. He bent over to take the, 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 the sandals of a dead man.
Do we have any Muhammad? This is why they don't dare to talk to me because I know all the laundry. Anything they say, I'm going to get them busted. They don't know what to say to me. Like the last, the last woman she called me a few days ago, if you remember, uh, she said, "Show me, show me first. She, she don't, she don't want to agree about anything, because if I show her something, then now the answer can change. If she give the answer before I show her." They learn Christian Prince surprises, you know, they cannot, you know. <laughs> so now show me, no, show me first, show me. No, I can't answer you. Show me, show me first. Show me, show me first, show me. <laughs> show me first. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan have the courage? Come on, I'm losing my voice. Zero. Muslim. Totally zero. Everything you have in your website, in your articles, in your videos is a pure fabrication. Hmm. Any Abdul who wanna who wanna who want to volunteer to defend his prophet and his God? There's no Mujahideen no more. Nobody want to do jihad for the sake of Allah. You don't want to get the 80,000 little boys in heaven. Imagine if you call me how many boys extra Allah will give you. I mean, why, why, by the way, there are 80,000 boys? Why Allah did not make them 79,000? And I thought there is no slavery no more. It turned to be even the heaven of Allah is a slavery. You ask the Muslims, who are those boys? They say those are your slaves, your servants. In heaven? Even in heaven, there is a slavery. It's just, is that just? The least of the people, this is not the reward for every Muslim. This is the, this is for the potato one. The one who do nothing, nothing, nothing. He just say shahada. When he's dying, he put, he give the middle finger to Allah and he say shahada, that's it. The least of the people in paradise, in position, is the one with 80,000 servant this is not my words Muhammad speaking and we know the Quran is speaking about those servants they are boys little boys and 72 wives so 72 wives mistakenly many people think that this is the reward for every Muslim no this is for the bad Muslim this is for the lowest the lowest now, if you ask yourself, according to Islam in the heaven, you don't take a shower. Your clothes will never get dirty. They will never get wrinkled. They will never be ruined. So, which means you wear one clothes for eternity, which is very stupid. And you wear a green clothes made of silk, made in Iran, Stabrak. Stabrak is a brand of silk made in Iran. Even Allah don't, cannot even make his own silk. He have to import from the Persian to the Arab. Imagine, he is a promising the Arab, you will wear a Persian silk. Because the Arab cannot make it. Eh. Anyway, nothing new. We made a, a, a manufacturer to make needles in Egypt. The needle is perfect, but you cannot make a hole in it. Anyway, still it's called this needle. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. So look at this. Uh, it says here, that every person will have 80,000 servants. Hey, Muslims, there's a program in the Dean Show. I wish I can play the video, but they will flag it, as usual, cowards. In the video, the guy, Dr. Uh, whatever his name, you know, 
he was telling you, describing for you how the heaven is. He said, nobody can describe the heaven for you. Now let me describe it for you. A second ago, he said, nobody can describe the heaven. And now let me describe it for you. You go to your house, your castle have four doors. One for you and one for the servants. 80,000 servants, brother. Go watch the video. It's called the description of paradise. The D show. Eighty thousand. Okay, quite Muslims. If in the same video, the guy he says, if you see brother, if you see a bird in the sky, you wish to eat the bird. The bird will be in your dish immediately. So what? What the servant for? Look, I do not need to wash my clothes. I do not need to take a shower. I do not need to cook. I do not need to do anything. So what the servant would do? The servants, they are a bar servants. What? They are bar. You know, once I was in Thailand, and, you know, I like to walk. I like to walk and learn about cities. So I walk in the area, and then suddenly I enter like in, in like narrow road, and then this road have uh, uh, bars in both sides, but everybody there in that area is men. No women. No women. Everybody sitting on the table is men. And there is standing boys. They start coming to me. Hello, sir. Come here, sir. You know, homosexual. So this is a homosexual area. The God of Islam, he have a bar of a homosexual boys. Those boys, their job is to go around you and give you wine. If you don't believe me, the Quran is there. Read with me. <clears throat> Do you see it? Is that my words? Am I making things up? Chapter 52, verse number 24. 80,000 boys. And by the way, for the record, they have to be extremely white because no black enter the heaven of Allah, as you know. Even the servants have to be white. This is white supremacist religion. The masters are white, the servants are white. Any Muhammadan would like to say to me, I'm lying, please feel free. The Quran is in the front of you. Any Muhammadan. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I have a caller. Hello? Christian Prince. First of all, those boys are not a mutaktawal. Eh? It says the lion's the phone, they will not bleed. Christian Prince, first of all, you are lying. The word in the phone means they will get drunk. Like, well, hold on, how they will get drunk? They are the servant, not the one who's drinking. So how they will get drunk? Christian Prince, first of all, if you work in the bar, then they will drink from it because they are going to take the line. Hold on, what bar? Did you say just the word bar? So in order to cover what the Quran is saying, it says, Yenzifun, they say, uh, this is not, uh, well, hold on, what are you talking about? You know, And why they are boys? What is justice? Is it justice to bring little boy to make him serve me? What kind of heaven this heaven is? Imagine now, you tell me I'm going to bring you 10 boys to be your slaves. I will never accept such a, such a stupid thing. This is the most disgusting promise ever. Are you there, Zachary? 
Zachary, do you hang up? Hello? Look like Zachary is gone. Quit him, print. First of all, I'm not gone. Okay, well, I called you many times, you did not answer. But of all, I have to think about the question. And then I can think about the answer because we Muslims are smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you, did you think? Hey, give me the answer. Why Allah is a promising you boys? What about girls? Give them breath. But of all, the girl is for sex. And then they get you button now. So if the boys are for sex, why Allah will be with boys? What? What the heck? The the girls for sex, the boys. Listen, 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 like a night. Christian Prince, first of all, don't speak like me. And don't try to act like me. Okay, what I broke my tooth, man. So listen, listen to me, like a night. So Allah, He promised you boys. Why boys? I mean, if everything is ready, the food you wish is going to be in the table without any servant. Your clothes will never be wrinkled, will never get dirty, you will never take a shower, you never go to the bathroom. So what the boys will do? Christian Prince, you are very stupid. And I would agree with me. Okay, I will agree with you, no problem. But after you answer me. Exactly. So the boy in the Quran said, in chapter 52, verse number 23, they said they shall pass upon them and they will give them wine. Uh, hold on. So if Allah, he said, anything you wish is going to be there right away, including the food. So how come only the wine needs somebody to bring it? First of all, because the wine is the liquid. As an example, if you see a bird, you want to have a bird, the bird will be cooked and it will be in front of you. But if you see a wine, how the wine will come to you? Uh, you got a point there, Zach and Nick. Exactly. Any Muslim? 80,000 boys. What a religion. I'm truly convinced. And then you will see those potatoes who, like they are maybe convert, maybe true convert, maybe false, I don't know. Like there is a woman, she, uh, uh, you know, she uh, uh, brought the Quran to her father, or she, 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 yeah, she, she played a recording of the Quran to her father, and her father was amazed. What about you? You bring a Muslim who don't have a nice voice. Let us see if the Quran will become nice. So you bring somebody have a nice voice singing the Quran. This guy, if he sing even about poo poo, is going to come nice. Do you remember when uh, Muhammad hijab? He recited the Quran to what his name? Uh, Patterson he recited the Quran Patterson looked at him I mean what he said to him why why are you after he finished why 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 you did that he said uh, the Quran says uh, if you recite those uh, verses to, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, to a mountain, the mountain will collapse. Will 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 like will uh, will become a believer. Uh, nothing happened to this guy. He did not become a believer, which means the experiment proved that Allah is a false god. If you recite those verses to a mountain, how tough the mountain is. This is what uh, Muhammad Hijab he recited. Go watch it. And then Muhammad Hijab, after he listened to himself, after he did sing the verses, doing his best, it doesn't come right. Stupid, look bad, ugly. So he added echo. <laughs> you have to add the echo. <laughs> so had we sent down this Quran on a mountain, you would surely have seen it humbling itself. false as you see Muhammad he struggled with people nobody accept the Quran people laugh at the Quran people they call the Quran this is nothing but the fairy tales of the previous generations of the ancient 
Nobody was amazed. You know, Muslim, they would say to you, the Arab, they are very good in Arabic. And they, when they were saw the Quran, they were amazed with the Quran. Read carefully. In fact, the Arab, they said, if we want to make Quran like this, we can make something like it. But this is stupid. All those verses, it says this is a fairy tales. Read it. You can open any of those chapters. In chapter 88, verse number 31, it says it clearly, if you wish, we can make like this. What is uh, what is the Arab were surprised, amazed? The Arabic in the Quran is broken. Everybody knows that the Arabic poetry is so powerful. The Quran is just nothing. You know, there is a very simple method in the Quran to make a rap in, in Arabic. The easiest way. You add ya noon because this is very thing very easy to add to anything. Any any word. Makir Makirin. And look what Muhammad he did. Not only that, he says Allah is the best of Al Makirin. Allah is the best of deceivers, just to make a, a, a rap. And look at the Muslim translation. It says Allah he is the best of the planners. But Makir in Arabic in the dictionary is there. Is a deceiver, liar. So in order to make Quran, all what Muhammad need to do, any word, he can add in at the end. Al awwal, we make it awwalin, in. And then even that, which is the easiest way, he could not even continue. Look here, alim, he could not come with in. Because this word. Will be heavy if we add. We can add yin, by the way. <laughs> Suddenly, here, yastaghfirun. He cannot even keep the, the tone of the rap. And now he's stuck with wow noon, which is very easy to add. To add. Ya'kul, mean eat. Ya'kulun, they are eating. Yastaghfir, mean asking for forgiveness yes taghfirun mean they are asking for forgiveness so the wow noon make it they you can add it to any word this is the amazing quran ya'lam mean he knows ya'lamun they knows so you can keep going adding that to any any word Takfur, do blasphemy. Takfurun, they do blasphemy. Yuhsharun, Yuhsharun, Al Khasir, Al Khasirun. A kid can do better. And those Western, they do not speak Arabic, they think like, ah. Oh, and the guy he is singing it with nice voice my friend a person have a nice voice have you ever heard of uh, uh, michael jackson all his shitty songs shitty songs but people buy millions around the world they listen to his songs and memorize them 90 maybe 95 percent of singers they, who have nice voices they have shitty words Ugly, disgusting, effort, satanic words, satanic music. So they bring you a guy who have a very ugly, uh, uh, sorry, have a nice voice to recite the Quran to convince you that this is an amazing book. What about you make a person, normal person, you, you yourself, the one who converted to Islam, recite the Quran for me. Let us see if it's beautiful. Do we have any Muhammadan? Let us see, maybe we have a, a text. If you are a Muslim, tell me please I'm a Muslim.
Okay, a Muslim saying to me lies always. Okay, let us call him. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Well, according to this guy, he's not answering. Mayday, mayday. I can make a Quran now and I can sing my own Quran and you would love it. In fact, once we played Quran made by the Christians and the Muslim, he said to me, nothing wrong with it. It's amazing, beautiful. What's wrong with you? The second we say to him, this is not even Quran. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I know. Actually, there's a video of a very well known Sheikh. Uh, there's a guy, he's a French guy. He said, Who want to volunteer to come to the stage? Who want to volunteer to come to the stage? Experiment. Life on, like, no, no acting, no acting. Experiment. So, one guy, he is a French. He put his hand up. So he told him, I'm going to recite two verses or two statements. One of them is true Quran, and one of them is a false Quran. And your heart will tell you which one is the from God. And this is the video here, in the front of me. Because this is what the Quran told them. Big conference, thousands of people. So the guy, he said, okay. He don't speak Arabic. He do not know a single Arabic word. So the sheikh, he recited the fake Quran. He he make his own Quran. He made his own Quran and he sang it the same as the Quran is sung. And he recited real verses from the Quran. And then he asked him, which one you like more? He said the other one. Which means in the false Quran. Very embarrassing. <laughs> Thousands of people, my friend, watching, including all, all, actually all of them are Muslims. I mean, there's a few. This guy, because he's not a Muslim, they put him in the stage, and I'm surprised, really, that the Muslim they trusted themselves that this guy will like, you know, like, hey, don't you know the risk? I don't want to play the video. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me give you the link for it, so you can you can share it with your friends, and if somebody can have a translation at subtitle, that would be good. You know, hilarious. Which one you like more? And actually, in underneath of the video, uh, there is a the, the, there is a description for what happened. You know, uh, let me use Google Translation. Activated in, in the in the social media circulate around recent clip video by Sheikh Muhammad Al-Arifi trying to convince a non-Muslim young man 
to read the Holy Quran, the fact the translation is not correct. Uh, not to read, he, he recited for him the Quran and he asked him which one you think it's from God. The guy he accepted the, the false one, which he al Urafi he just made up. And he repeat again and he fail again. He thought maybe the guy would say, Okay, let us switch. <laughs> It didn't work, didn't work, my brother. Are you sure it's not the like this one? No, brother, no. <laughs> he liked the false Quran. And amazingly, by the way, the Sheikh, I have to say, he is really good in making Quran. He just made a Quran on the stage. And he make it sound exactly like the real Quran. I'm not joking. If you listen to it, unless you speak Arabic and you know the language and you know the Quran very well, there's no way you will know that this is not Quran. Yet this Frenchman, you know, he chose the one which is the fake one. <laughs> and the whole point is to prove that Quran must be from God. Ta -da -da -da. Any Muhammadan? I posted the link already, my friend. And if there is anyone, you know, speak Arabic can add title to it and share it around, maybe in Facebook, etc. So people will laugh. The guy is a French. The guy he is a French. He don't speak, you know, he don't speak one single Arabic word. Do we have any Mohammedan? If there is a Muslim in the chat is trying to say he wanna debate me in Arabic, my friend, you are welcome. Kill me in Arabic. But we have to translate. Don't give that an excuse. You speak Arabic, that even would be horrible for you. Trust me, in Arabic, in English, I am like, I'm not using 99 of my, 99% of my horses. In Arabic, I'm using all of them. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to debate me in Arabic because my limitation is in English. If I debate you in Arabic, I will make you hummus. Guys, do you remember the debate we had with the Sheikh in Arabic in ABN TV? Who remember it? <laughs> uh. The man, he lost his his head, you know, over. And anyone who speak Arabic, you can tell that the Sheikh don't speak good Arabic. I was the one who speak in the very good Arabic and he is the most horrible. And he's an Arab, he's an Iraqi. The second I got him busted, he starts saying, I'm a Zionist. This is the guy. In Arabic. Go watch it. And if you read the comment, now this is somebody download the video, but you can watch it from the... Uh, but here you see this one here, it has uh, the English subtitle, which is good for you. You know, there is there is English subtitle. But if you speak Arabic, if you go to the original channel of ABN and you watch the video, you will see the comment, the Muslim saying, this guy is paid by Christian Prince. He's not a real sheikh. <laughs> He's not a real sheikh. <laughs> this guy, he have many interviews in, in Fox News, you know, very sneaky, very, very sneaky, you know, but not with me. I made him lose his mind and suddenly, he want to kill the Jews. He want to kill the Christians. In the beginning, he was, we are brothers and sisters. We 
uh, Muslims and Christians, we share many things. This is how we start in the beginning. Very, very sneaky. The second I start hitting spanking, the guy is out of the cage. Oh boy. So this is what happened when you debate me in Arabic. Do you remember the other guy from uh, from Kuwait? You know, uh, yeah, this is speak Arabic. Here we go. You know what happened. Go. Watch it. If you cannot make it with me in English, my friend, in Arabic, you are you are going to be smashed. Literally. When I used to go to the Arabic chat rooms, the second I enter, even you know the the, the, the Christian, they reached the point. They said to me, "Please, when you enter our chat room, don't use your name, don't use a Christian prince, like change your name." Because the second you come in the room, the Muslim run. <laughs> they they start asking me, "We beg you, please don't come with your name, man." <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> we can't find Muslim to talk to. You enter the chat room, they are gone. <laughs> so you are trying to debate me in Arabic? Good luck, no problem. You are welcome. But just remember, whatever you say, we have to translate because the audience, 99% are non-Arab. Do we have any Mohammedan? You just search for it if you speak Arabic. If you want this one, this one, if you don't speak Arabic, this one have a subtitle, it's better for you. This one has a subtitle, it's better for you. The ABN is just Arabic. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. Last call before we go to heaven of Allah and do inspection with the with the beautiful women. Which each one of them, her ass is one mile. And you know, by the way, like first time I did read this hadith about one uh, one mile ass. And I, I, th I said to myself, maybe I'm reading wrong. You know, because you know, like in the old days, the Arabic is, it's like, you know, Shakespeare English, not the same as English today, right? So I did read again and again. I opened the dictionary again. <laughs> It is it is one mile. And here I ask myself, by the way, was the word mile exist in the time of Muhammad? <laughs> but they will say to you, this is different mile. No problem, no problem. Oh boy. And by the way, brother, this hadith is Da'if hadith. <laughs> and not only that, even the man, his ass, there's other hadith, it says, the man will be 60 arms tall, and his ass is one mile. Let me see if I can find this one. Hold on. For the man. We showed you the women one, one many times, but we will see. Oh, we cannot be found in English. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can find it. Let us try in this website. And there is a Muslim website 
they are saying that this is cannot be fun. You know, like there is there is a. <laughs> Let me let me show you. <laughs> Translate. Okay. <clears throat> uh, weak hadith, the lowest statues of people of paradise, is the one who has seven degrees. All right. In this hadith, is this hadith correct? This is the question. Uh, where it says that the man he would be sixty or arm tall. And he will have uh, his his uh, his ass will be uh, one mile. Uh, let us see. The translation is not coming accurate. So the answer is well, it doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, this is a chain. There's a chain in the narration. Let me. Uh, the screen is off. Hold on. Give me a second. Sorry, I did not notice. All right, all right. We will show you the screen. So this is this is a question uh, about what is so called weak hadith. You know. Okay. And this is the answer about it. And they are saying there is a chain of the, the transmission of this hadith is weak. Uh, the weakness goes because of etc. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, and then they go there. Let us see, it says here. Ah, see, the translation is coming weird. So it says it doesn't make sense what the hadith is saying. Because if he will be 60 cubit tall, how his ass, his set, his ass, will be one mile. <laughs> Logic. <laughs> guys so they, how they come to the conclusion that this hadith cannot be correct if he will be 60 cubit tall then how his ass will be one mile <laughs> do I teach Arabic my friend, you can go to my uh, channel in YouTube, Arab for Christ, Arab number four, Christ, search it. You will find long list of classes for free. Learn Arabic as you wish. All right? This is Islam. And the same is said about, but you know, by the way, this is here a stupid answer. Why? Because the Muhammad, he said that the man will be 90 mile tall. The women, she will be 30 mile tall. So the one who made the answer is a stupid. Obviously, he did not know about other reference Muhammad he made. This man, Muhammad, is a madman. Once he says something in the second day, he said the opposite. As simple as that. Actually, uh, if you read the Quran, as an example here, there's a verse in the Quran Chapter 2, verse 106. What this verse is about? Simply, Muhammad, he says something in the morning, he changed his mind after noon. Second day, maybe second morning. If you don't believe me, here we go. This is chapter 2, verse 106. Let us go and see the interpretation or the reason for the verses to come down. And we will not read what we, our explanation. This is their explanation. This is what? This is their own explanation. This is how the Muslim, what the Muslim believe. This is not me saying that. Read carefully. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse 106, Tafsir ibn Abbas. Allah mentioned that was abrogated in the Quran and that which was not abrogated. As direct reference to the claim of Quraysh. Quraysh is the tribe of Muhammad. This is the name of the tribe. Who said to the Prophet, O Muhammad, listen carefully, this is not my words. O Muhammad, 
why do you command us to do something and then you forbid it? Do you see it? You know what? Maybe this interpretation is wrong. Let us go to different interpretation. So we make the Muslims happy. When the disbeliever began to deride the matter of abrogation, saying huh, that one day Muhammad enjoined his companion to one thing, and then the second, the next day, he forbid it. Do you see it? How this man can be a prophet of God? Why do God change his message second day? Second day? At night you said something to us. Second day you forbid it? Or you do the opposite? The real reason, actually, it's not that Muhammad, he is making an experiment. So he says something, he make a law claiming it's coming from God. And if the people complain, he deleted. As an example, one of the most stupid law made by Muhammad is the following law. And you can ask any Muslim, he will say to you, it's abrogated. But why Allah he changed his justice law this is justice law chapter 2 verse 178 oh who you believe al qisas al qisas of the law of punishment capital punishment is prescribed for you in the case of murder look at the law look at the stupidity the free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. So if you kill my wife, I kill your wife. <laughs> if, if I am a white man and I kill your slave, you don't kill me, you kill my slave. <laughs> So when Muhammad, he made the law, you know, people start wondering what kind of God this God, what the heck? So now we have two victims. We have two victims. And the killers are free. Only if you kill, if a man who killed a man, both are white, then that man will be killed. So if a white man, free white man, he killed a free white man, then the free white man who killed will be killed but if a free man white man killed a black slave we kill another black slave and by the way the Muslim they might say to you it doesn't say black Abd Abd is a black slave this is why when the Muslim they try to humble themselves they call themselves Abdullah, like they made themselves equal to a black man. Abd. Abd, the, the other meaning of the word the Abd, mean very, very black man. And if you don't believe me, we can go and read the interpretation. Here we go. Nothing I say from my own. Chapter 2, verse 178. The same chapter. Read with me. This is Allah justice. It says, A free man would be killed for a free man and not for a slave. Do you see it? And a slave for a slave and a female for a female. Then what people start laughing at the, such a justice, Muhammad, 
he abrogated as usual and as you see this is their interpretation not mine because we know what the Muhammad and they will say it, it, it doesn't say that I see me this is the this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan this is the official official website of the king of Jordan who is not a king this guy those those are all those who call themselves royals in the Middle East they are Bedouin they sleep in a tent they never been kings and princes but thanks for the American and the British and the oil Do we have any Muhammadan? Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. You know, like I was away for a few days and the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, where are you? Are you hiding from us? We want to call you. We come, we stay for hours and nobody calls. A single Muslim did not. And now after I hang up, they will say, we want to call you. Where do you go? Is it true that they are descendant from Muhammad? My friend, every scumbag in the in the Middle East, he claimed he is descended from Muhammad. Let me count for you. So Dom Hussein is descended from Muhammad. The leader of ISIS, the Caliphate, he is descended from Muhammad. The King of Jordan is descended from Muhammad. Al Qazafi is descended from Muhammad. Uh, uh, the King of Morocco is descended from Muhammad. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. There's videos in YouTube uh, about Prophet Muhammad descendant. All of them, they are redhead. <laughs> For sure, they have to be white. Come on. Muhammad was very white. Ah, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Let us see, brother. Look at the descendant of a prophet Muhammad. <laughs> All of them, they are blonde. <laughs> what you can say, my friend? This is the this is the side effect of shampoo. Suddenly, all of us, the Arab, we became so blonde. Oh boy. Red beard. Any Mohammedan? What a scam. You know, those Abdul just, uh, you know, just make a claim. They, you, you, you can make, you can be a king, you know, if you just make a claim. The British, they brought what they call him the Honorable Hussein. He's not a king. They call him Honorable at that time because they want to make him Honorable. The Bedouin guy in a tent, he have no house even. So the British intelligent, they brought him in order to kick the Ottoman. And they made what it's called. Do you know the story of uh, Lawrence the Arab? Lawrence. Lawrence the Arab is a James Bond, but he's a real James Bond. The guy, he taught them how to use guns. 
the, the whole purpose is to kick the Ottoman, to destroy the Ottoman Empire, and they were very successful. So they needed a guy, so people will join behind him. They look, this guy, he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad. They promise him, if you work for Her Majesty, we will make you a king. And they were able to destroy the Ottoman Empire. This is the guy. He cannot even afford to buy clothing. This is him. Look at look look at the guy. I mean, they made him, uh, uh, you know, a leader, and and then his grandsons, his sons and grandsons became the king. One the king for uh, uh, Iraq, one king for uh, Jordan, and one king for Syria. And then they killed the other two. And one of them survived because of the protection of USA and Israel. <clears throat> yeah. That is the story. Let us see. Maybe we have a Muslim trying to call us. Muhammadan. Maybe we got a Muslim, I'm not sure. Hello? Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes. Uh, you speak to me in Arabic? Assalamu alaikum. You don't speak Arabic. So what you are saying? Are you Fakira? Fak who? <laughs> Fakira. Fakira. Stupid. Did you see what did he did you did you hear what he said? Filthy, very filthy. Did you hear what he said? Very filthy. F who? <laughs> He knew himself. <laughs> you know, when you hear like, but he didn't speak Arabic, obviously. He don't even know how to say it. Yeah. Shakira, Fakira. Anyway, look like we don't have any Abdul. This is the only idiot who he tried to call us. And he said the F word to his prophet and the F word to his God. Very mental. <clears throat> no, no, I cannot let him talk. I made a promise I will never because he insulted, you know, he, he, he is very filthy, you know. I made a promise. That's it. We made him speak many times and we have him recorded a thousand times. Go watch it and laugh. Do we have any Abdul? We will make you a king, don't worry. We will contact Lawrence, the Arab. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Actually, this guy is a very a good example of how the Muslim they try to duct tape their religion. So this guy, he refused any hadith, and he insulted the Arab, which is a prophet, the companion, all of them, they are Arab. And the reason he don't accept the hadith, because of the hadith is a fabrication, but this means Islam is a fabrication. But then the second you ask him, I ask him, who is the wife of Muhammad? He said, the Aisha. <laughs> How do you know his name? Her name? <laughs> Remember, he don't accept the hadith. <laughs> And once he mentioned that, that there is a hundred level in the heaven. I said, where do you get this from? <laughs> it's from the hadith. So they are really sneaky, hypocrite.
They everything they have about Islam is from the Hadith. The Quran is an anti book. There's nothing. What is the name of the father of Muhammad Abdullah? Okay, where you get this from? There's nothing in the Quran. There's no Abu Bakr. There's no Omar. There's no nobody. Where you get those from? From the Hadith. There's no books of history written about written anything about them. Actually, there's many historic scholars. They deny even the existence of Muhammad because there's zero information about Muhammad. There's no book of history wrote anything about Muhammad except Muslim books only. And none of those books go to the time of Muhammad. <clears throat> Unknown person. Most of the stories they get, they get it from Ibn Ishaq. But Ibn Ishaq is way long after Muhammad. And they don't even, I mean, if you ask them, do you accept the stories he mentioned? They start filtering. Even Ishaq himself, he filtered. Even they, 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 they accuse him to be a Jew. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> you know, for me, I don't care really if Muhammad was a real person as existence or not. Not because I don't care for true history, you know. But in what I do, I debate Muslims in what they believe, not what I think. They believe he exists. Okay. Let us debate about what is exist, supposedly, in, at least in their belief. No problem. <clears throat> I think it's Fakira again. Like when the Muslim they say the Quran is preserved, uh, I don't care really. Okay, you think it's preserved, but the preserved Quran is stupid. Hello? Hello? Yeah, stupid Fakira again. I mean, there's no men left between this and this religion. Send me kids. Uh, I don't debate Muslims about the preservation of the Quran for a very simple reason. The preserved Quran idea serve me better because how the Muslims can answer the stupidity of the Quran. If you remember, I made a video, just short video, a few days ago about a Muslim until now by the way he promised me to come back to me he said if you can show me a contradiction he said that the Quran he agreed that the Quran have a lot of stupid mistakes scientific mistakes and he said those are made by the Jews those mistakes in the Quran they are not made by Allah this is not what the Prophet Muhammad said those are fabrication inserted in the Quran by the Jews. And he said, but there is for sure, there is no contradiction about the faith. And he challenged me to show him an introduction. And I did. You can watch the video. And he promised me that he will back, uh, get back to me if I can show him such a contradiction. He never takes back. He never, that's it. Anyway, he made a promise. And he's afraid to face his promise. But the Quran in front of us, which is a preserved according to Muslims, is more useful than the Muslim believing it's not preserved because now they cannot say those mistakes are not from Muhammad. The guy who I spoke to him from a few days ago, he came to me with this idea that the Quran is not preserved. And those mistakes are made by the Jews. 
This is why for me, it's served me better to make people leave Islam by talking about the Quran as if it's preserved. I mean, preserved or not, who cares? This is the Quran, let us love. Muhammad in his time when he was exist, if he was exist, he was always complaining from people asking questions. Don't ask questions. And as long you don't allow people to ask you questions, then you are God. You yourself, you are God. Because nobody can examine your knowledge, your intelligence, and nobody dare to, to examine it. This is why you see, even like the verses we are reading here in front of us, uh, uh, verse number 108, it says, do you want to ask the message, uh, to, to ask uh, Muhammad? Like the Jews, they ask Moses? And, okay, what, what the problem? And they put between two brackets, show us openly your Lord. But this is not what the verse is saying. They add things to give excuse. And if they are asking you to show openly your Lord, so then they ask you first, did you ever see your Lord yourself? Have you ever spoke to your Lord yourself? Hey, Muslims, did Muhammad ever spoke to his Lord? No. He never heard his voice. He never have a one word with him. So how we know that Allah is exist? The Prophet himself never spoke to Allah. So in the Quran, you will see Allah speak to Shaitan. How come he refused to speak to Muhammad? Question. The Muslim, they say that the most close person to Allah, the favorite person to Allah is Muhammad. Then how Allah never spoke to him? He spoke to Isa. He spoke to Moses. He spoke to Abraham. He spoke to Shaitan. He spoke to Solomon. He spoke to everybody except Muhammad. Why? Any Muslim can tell me why? Muhammad, he, you know, the Muslim they speak, they make big noise about circumcision, but Muhammad himself never been circumcised. They claim that they are following Abraham, but the Prophet himself never been circumcised. Uh, shouldn't you follow Abraham by circumcision then? And when they, they asked Muhammad about baptism, if he knew how to do baptism, Muhammad do not know what baptism is. He didn't know what to do. What baptism? What Muhammad he said? Allah is the one who do baptism. Is the best to do baptism. <laughs> if you go in the Quran, you will see this. I mean, the Muslim translation is really funny. They don't know what to translate the word. They prefer to keep it in Arabic. I mean, have you ever heard of a translation? You keep the same word in English? What a stupid... I don't know what to say, man. Hold on. There we go. Muhammad, he solved the problem. He do not know how to do baptism. Why? 
E, e, Allah will do baptism. Allah the best who do baptism. And the funny is, by the way, you remember when, when Muhammad, he says, Allah is the best of the creators? And do you remember how, how many times Muslims, they say to us, you can't compare Allah to anything? But all the Quran is comparing Allah to, uh, to people. Like, okay. And who go to baptize better than Allah? What? Hey, Muslims, what baptize? Allah do baptism? So what is circumcision? As long as Allah do baptism, Allah should circumcise you himself too. Any Muhammadan? In Arabic it says Sibaratu. Sibra. Actually, in Arabic, by the way, the Arabic word sibra, uh, uh, it means to paint, to color somebody. <laughs> like, ma, ma, the, the stupid Muhammad Arabic is beyond the stupidity. So the Christians, they go in the water, right? They cover themselves by the water, and this is their baptism, right? So Muhammad, he compared, he used a word in Arabic, which is the same as sibara. Sibara is when you dump like a piece of fabric in a color to color it. I don't know what the perfect word for it in English, but you know, maybe you can help me. This is what Sibara mean. Sibara. <clears throat> Yeah, to die, to die, like, you know, uh, uh, but not to die. Uh, yeah, you can actually use it for the hair, too. You can use it for the hair dying, yeah. So even Muhammad, he did not even choose the right word for it. It's okay, guys, I know the word in English. I'm just trying to test you to see how good your English, you know. You know, I used to teach... Uh, do you know Shakespeare? Shakespeare. They call him in England Shakespeare, but in fact, he is a Shakespeare. He's an Arab. He's my cousin. So uh, Shakespeare, you know, once he called me, he says, my English is not good, and I'm going to immigrate uh, to uh, in Englishistan, you know, which is like a part of territory of Pakistan. So I said, okay, well, come to me here. And uh, I was busy, you know, like I was just uh, fighting the enemies, you know. I have 10,000 people fighting me, and I have only... Uh, uh, you know the, the thing so anyway I talked to him in like a few words in English and then he learned and then he went to England and he opened a school to teach people how to speak German and this is a true story by the way I can prove it to you from Sahih Bukhari okay uh, hadith number uh, uh, Zakar do you not remember with him breath first of all this is totally fabricated and nobody can believe it Zakar no, just say agree man you agree about everything I mean come on you cover for me I cover for you deal Great and breath. First of all, we would claim we don't cover anything. Uh -huh. Okay. The prophet, when Aisha, she touched his hair and his private part was not standing. What you Muslims say? First of all, the prophet, the private part was standing because he was a black magic. That's a covering. You cover for him. You claim that his private part is not working because of a black magic. Okay, here we go, you know, come on. It's a black magic, you know, like, you do the same to me, come on. Just accept the story, let it go, let it go. <laughs> I mean, guys, name for me one thing was not wrong about Muhammad. He jumped with water, have dead dogs, and women of blood from period. His private part is not working. Somebody put a black magic on him. He imagined himself having sex, but he is not. He walk in the street. He hear the stones talking to him. He walk in the in the wood. 
He hear that the, the trees they come to him to cover him when he do poo poo. I mean, the, everything wrong about this guy. He wanted to commit suicide multiple times. And he Muhammadan, and he drink camel urine. Zero Muhammadan. And by the way, always people they say to me, "Where we can find you?" Like now, I stop going to the other account. People do not know how to come here, even though I made a video there. Like it's a title. Like in you know, life, I will be like two months from now, three months there. It says. Go to my other account. Nobody read that. People are literate like Muhammad. Nobody want to read. Nobody want to read. And now they are waiting there in that channel, waiting for me. Like where, when Christian Prince will come. <laughs> and always we say, Hey, listen. Always to find where I'm going to be live. Go to www.patreon.com. I mean, do you know how to read? www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince and they ask you, okay, Christian Prince, where we can find you? Like, what the heck? www, listen, you do not need to donate. You do not need to donate. Just go there, type my name, you will find my page, you will find the last video I'm posting, you will know where I will be. You do not even need to make an account. Lord have mercy. Anyway, I think we had enough for today. Did we have a good time? And now, you want me to come back soon? Let us have a very good number of viewers, and you can do it. Just share the video, you know, I mean, do something. I know that people, they click in a video because of a picture. It's a shame. It's a shame, really, that people don't watch quality teaching. They click at pictures, pictures, you know. This is why you see if a woman, she is wearing a short skirt, uh, she have two millions view. It's a fact, you know. A woman, she want to teach you how to plant tomato. And what the picture is showing, she is bending over and the camera is just behind her ass. And what is make it more disgusting, the husband is with her. And they choose that picture for the thumb. This is how low class people become. And why people, they click in a video? Because of those pictures. People are like, not all, but mostly like insect. You know insect? You know when the flowers, they make coloring. They are not making coloring for, so we enjoy it. No. It's not for beauty. Flowers make attraction, thumbnail. So the insect will come and click. So don't be like an insect. Look for the value where if you watch and listen, you are not wasting your time. You learn something new. You educate yourself. And you don't leave after two hours empty-handed. A person who cannot share knowledge with you, he is just killing your time. So don't waste your time. Listening to someone don't teach you anything. Everything, by the way, is done around us is by, even the advertising is based on images. Because a human being, his brain function in images. His memory is images. Even the dictionary in your head is images. You say chair, in your image, in your head, there is an image of a chair. So they try to fool you by, by using your nature, which is based on images. All the commercial you see, 
It's just to fool you to make you spend money and buy, even things you do not know. Even going to restaurants, they try to tempt you by a picture of food. It's not even exist in the restaurant. In the menu, it shows you a nice dish. You order it. It is horrible. It is so small. It is so tiny. It's not enough for a cat. This is how they fool people. And this is how they take advantage of you. And Islam is no different. They try to provide images is not there. So people think about Islam, oh, this is a religion of holiness, goodness, charity, honesty. When the reality is Muhammad is a fraud, is a killer is a rapist, is a thief. Even his followers accuse him of theft. Even his companions, not only the enemies. So, don't be an insect. Be a smart being, as God created you. And don't let them manipulate you and fool you. I want to say thank you for being here. Let us hope I will be back soon. Maybe a day, maybe two, maybe three. We will see the view of this video. If it is low, eh, I will relax. I do my part. You better do yours. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you again, Islam is always defeated exposed, destroyed, and no Muslim can refute us. Prove me wrong. Bring your sheikh. Bring your scholars. I want people who have a long beard calling me. Where are they? Where are they? They don't dare. See ya.